Hey guys, it's Jamie McDonald here. You can see my reflection over there in the, uh, the computer screen. Uh, why am I standing behind the camera? I'm standing behind the camera because I want to put something in front of the camera. And what is it I want to put in front of the camera? It's a Nexus 7 tablet. Let me get some focus on this baby. Here we go. You're probably wondering what on earth am I doing with a Nexus 7 tablet in my hand. Down here at the bottom, you can see that there's a little Wi-Fi indicator that says on. What am I connected to? I am connected to an Olympus OMD EM1 that's sitting here just to my right. The point of this video is to show you that all this time I kept saying that you didn't have access to the full Wi-Fi uh, remote control features on the EM1 yet and I was completely wrong. You just don't have access to them on iOS yet but the Android operating system, it's already up and running. And when I found that out yesterday from one of my contacts at Olympus, I immediately ran home, grabbed my son's uh, Google Nexus 7 tablet and put the Olympus Image Share app on it so that I could do this video. So let's just go ahead and show you how this works. So we go into remote control mode here and you can see that it's actually filming what you see behind us there. Okay, now what I like landscape mode and I don't recall if that's available in iOS currently but to have it available is pretty rad so what can we do with this app on the OMD EM1 that we could not do on the Pen EP5 you'll see right across the bottom of the screen here we now have some options available to us currently on the Olympus OMD EM1 I have the Mzuiko 45 millimeter f1.8 we have f1.8 available to us. It's dim in this room, so why don't we set the lens at f1.8? So we can control aperture from the app. Right here in the center, we have exposure compensation. Super cool, so let's crank that up here. It's dark room. Whoa, a little too bright. Let's dial her back down here. Go back to here. Uh, ISO, again, available from within the app. Kind of cool that we can do this. So let's bring it right back down here to ISO 200. We also have available to us white balance and not just the baked in white balance settings, you know, like incandescent or cloudy or fluorescent. Um, you can actually go into the custom white balance settings if you have some preset. So let me get out of there. Ooh, we'll go back to auto. There we go. And what else can we do? Upper right hand corner here. You can see an A, that A is for aperture priority. So we can actually switch between modes via the, the Wi-Fi control. All of them, I auto, program mode, aperture priority, shutter, and manual. Kind of cool to be able to do that if you ask me. And we can also change whether we're shooting in single shot or sequential modes or the timer. And you can adjust the timer again, the different amounts of time that you want right here from good grief from two seconds to 12 seconds. There we go, back to single shot. And again, just like the, uh, just like the Pen EP5, you know, you can do touch to focus, you can turn it on so that you do focus and snap the image. And there's your preview. So, again, super cool. Um, I highly recommend that if you are someone who gets a hold of the, OMD EM1 or the Pen EP5 for that matter. Take advantage of the Wi-Fi controls. It's super cool. I mean, both the cameras already have an incredible uh, three inch display that is just mind blowingly beautiful. But, I mean, come on, I've got a seven inch display right here. I've got a nine inch display with my iPad. There are times when that gigantic display is really cool to have at your hands. So that just wraps up this little video I did. I couldn't wait to share with you guys the fact that the app had been updated and has actually all the controls now for us iOS users. It's just a little bit of a waiting game until the app gets updated in the App Store. So until then, if you have an old Android device laying around or if you're an Android user, you are totally in luck. And I say go for it. And until the next video, you guys take care. Bye.